Defund the police is a dog shit slogan. Just admit it, you're wrong. It's okay, you can throw a fit over something else. Obama's so Obama so bad. Yeah, right yeah, yeah no. Um, Black Lives Matter is too exclusive of all non-black people, sweaty. Why won't you say something reasonable like all lives matter? I mean, it like if you want to win over people, you want to win over the moderates. Like you have to really stop with these sloganeering like Black Lives Matter. I mean, it's so exclusionary. It's so alarming. Oh, yes. It's so uh, agitating. I I just uh, we gotta think about the moderates. Sweaty. Sorry, you can't say Black Lives Matter. You should probably say something. I don't know, reasonable like All Lives Matter. Like All Lives Do Matter. Yeah. Defund the police is not popular. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because this is not new. Establishment Democrats were also apprehensive and and not exactly on board with Black Lives Matter. Hi. Ever since MLK's letter from Birmingham jail on the white moderate being a, a stumbling block against uh, em the emancipation of African Americans, uh, perfectly described the situation, white moderates have not stopped. Like, they haven't stopped fucking throwing hurdles in front of uh, progress. They just keep constantly right. changing it. They're like, I, listen, I believe your struggle. I understand where you're coming from. But like, this messaging is really bad. Okay, the messaging is really bad, let's say. This Why don't you just fucking communicate what it is? Like Why don't you just communicate what uh, defund the police insane. means? You know what it means. The truth. Every single person that fucking constantly cries about defund the police. Why don't you just say what it is then? What's what do you want? Defund the police itself is like literally a right-wing terminology. Like they're using right-wing terminology. If you want to think about the cops uh, as a public service, it's austerity. Like it's advocacy for austerity. Why the fuck can't you get on board with that when it's so easy for you to get on board with that? with every other thing. You know, you're totally on board with defunding our public uh, education system, crippling it by by shifting away funds over to to uh, private schools and charters. Why can't you fucking do that for cops? Neoliberals do not have a problem with austerity. As a matter of fact, they love that shit. But when it comes to the cops, they're like, whoa, 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 the messaging here is not good, sweaty. Okay, the messaging is not good. Why don't you just fucking say, fuck the messaging and describe what it means then? What Why do don't you just think? describe what the messaging is? You know what it is. Obama says you lose people with snappy slogans like defund the police. And he was on uh, Peter Hamby's show on Snapchat. And he said a bunch of stuff. He's been around. He's been doing his press tour for his, his fucking 700 page book about how, you know, he is uh, God's uh, gift to mankind. Uh, the, the neoliberal God's gift to mankind. Cory Bush responded, with all due respect, Mr. President, let's talk about losing people. We lost Michael Brown Jr. We lost Breonna Taylor. We're losing our loved ones to police violence. It's not a slogan. It's a mandate for keeping our people alive. Defund the police. If defund comes from shifting resources away from ever expanding police budgets that get used for weapons back to social safety nets and social workers and and limiting the scope of what cops need to do while simultaneously advocating for accountability within policing if that's the message behind defund the police Re then every moment that you spend if you're aware of that if you're aware of what defund the police actually means then every moment that you spend just shitting on the messaging rather than being like no 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 defund the police means this actually is a moment that you're wasting I said this before with uh, the original the riots that were overtaking the streets. It's like, this happened with Black Lives Matter as well. When Black Lives Matter first came out, Obama himself, and also even uh, another civil justice superhero like Ruth Conda, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, all literally said like, Colin Kaepernick is, is a petulant child or selfish or whatever. That's because liberals hate rocking the boat. And unfortunately, progressive activism is about rocking the boat. It's about literally fucking pushing back against the status quo. Conservative activism, largely astroturf, is about maintaining the status quo. When did RBG say Kaepernick was a child? No, she said he was stupid. It was stupid of him to kneel for the national anthem. That's what she said. She didn't say he was a child. It was worse. Obama said Ferguson protesters were thugs. It's worse. Like, uh, you're like, there's no shot Obama said that. Okay. Obama stands by the term thugs. President Obama doesn't regret using the term thug in describing the violent rioters in Baltimore this week. Wow. Whether it's arson or, you know, the looting of a liquor store, those were thuggish acts, Ernest says. Obama's spokesman. 
In discussing the riots Tuesday, Obama assailed the criminals and thugs who tore up the place and described them as a distraction of the real issues of police brutality. Obama asks Kaepernick to think about the pain he's causing military families. President Barack Obama wants Colin Kaepernick to think about the pain he's causing military families the next time he takes a knee during the national anthem. You know, I'm going to leave this over here for a second. I want you guys to really just, uh, I want you to, to really sit in this for a second and think twice before coming at me. Uh, these, these idiotic counters like Obama never said that. By the way, asshole, as soon as you fucking jump to Obama never said that, you're basically admitting, you know, that was a shit take by Obama, right? Because you have the benefit of hindsight, right? So now you can't go back on that. Now you have already admitted that Obama did say something fucking stupid. The president defending Kaepernick and others who have joined him in such acts, which many Americans consider offensive, saying, but Obama said, people on both sides of the issue should keep open ears. Sometimes out of these controversies, we start getting into a conversation and I want everybody to listen to each other. So I want Mr. Kaepernick and others who are on a knee. I want them to listen to the pain that may cause somebody who, for example, had a spouse or a child who was killed in combat and why it hurts them to see somebody not standing. Republicans say homosexuality is a sin. Democrats say, well, you can have a civil partnership. Come on. But like gay marriage itself is, of course, uh, uh, too far, too far from our understanding of traditional values in America. So Obama is right. You and everyone else on the left is wrong. People are dumbasses and they take what you say at face value. So when they hear defund the police, they are dumb enough to believe that that's exactly what you're going to do. Stupid fucking messaging. Again, if you find defund the police to be stupid fucking messaging, then all you need to do with the endless amount of cash and media influence you have is to say defund the police is activist backed. It's grassroots. All you need to do is either A, adopt it and describe precisely what defund the police means, just like you, you could have done with Black Lives Matter or with Colin Kaepernick, what he was doing and what he was trying to do or what Black Lives Matter as a movement was trying to do. And it took like four fucking years to, to get there so that so many people could uh, finally come to terms with what that means. Or you could come up with another message you could say instead of defund the police you could say refund social work or something like that i don't fucking know whatever you want to do in your neoliberal uh, uh focus test groups and then literally describe exactly what defund the police means while also talking about demilitarizing the police which is uh for example a more effective slogan demilitarize the police if demilitarize the police is more effective and test better or refund seems uh, to test better, then do that. But also communicate what defund the police means and also agitate along those same boundaries. If you are just fucking criticizing the protesters, all you're doing is basically saying, fuck the fucking activists, which we have no control over anyway. Fuck the people on the streets that have legitimate grievances. We are progressive, but also that's hurting our causes so instead we're just going to give more money to the police we're going to train the police more and we're going to keep doing exactly what we've done since the fucking 60s since the invention of community policing liberals and republicans liberals conservatives republicans democrats have successfully always advocated to increase and inflate uh, police budgets promising that you know it's going to go back to retraining it's going to go back to community policing it's going to go back to body cameras none of it has worked and to all the people who are saying like i want to literally eliminate all the police i want to abolish it it doesn't matter your opinions are marginal even the activists that are fucking uh, even anarchist activists themselves who ultimately have the goal of police abolition still believe that there needs to be some form of policing, even if you don't fucking call it Thanks policing. Me and beyond that, know that they're not going to get ago, that so right now, so it doesn't hassle. fucking matter. You can say it all you want, but it's a marginal take, and you know it's a marginal take, and you're not going to be able to make it mainstream right now. You're not going to be able to make it mainstream tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. See? See how I dealt with that? I hear you. I see you. It's not going to happen currently, so let's work on what we can do. Obama saying that slogans like defund the police are harmful while pulling stunts like this is just peak sociopathy. That I see you and I hear you. <laughs> can, can I get some water? I want a glass of water. That's Flint, by the way. Thank you. I really did need a glass of water. This is not a stunt. 
what? He, he wet his lips. He did not drink it. He didn't sip it. He wet his lips. There was an audible gasp in the audience. People were just like absolutely dejected. Why would you do that? Backstage, the president sitting at the table with the criminal governor decided to perform his stunt all over again. Uh, you know, generally I have not been doing stunts here, but you know. <laughs> That's not what I expected. That's right. what Snyder what? did. The problem with what H. Bizzle is saying is that Dems are saying, please don't use this messaging and hurts the cause, when in reality, they're not gonna try to forward the cause. Exactly. That is the heart of my problem, ladies and gentlemen. The problem isn't saying defund the police or saying abolish the police or whatever the fuck you want to say. What do I always tell you? Ago, if you believe a cause is just, you don't fight for it because it is the most uh, appealing or the most palatable. You fight for it because you think it's right. And when you're doing that, you can, I guess, water down the slogan. But what you must do is not fall for the right wing framing. What you must do is continue describing exactly what it is that people want liberals don't want to say we want to you know uh, people on the ground want to demilitarize the police liberals don't want to say that because that is conflicting with what they advocate for what they advocate for is progress they want to reform the police right they say they want to reform the police they they claim that they are on the side of justice they claim that they're on the side of marginalized communities so they claim that they want to do something about the police, but in reality, they don't. And that's precisely why they get caught up with right-wing reactionary framing on issues that they're supposed to be advocating for and only fucking just criticize the left. Fuck the left. The left is politically insignificant. Shut the fuck up. We are politically insignificant. There's like 11 fucking people in American Six politics that go. could be designated as leftists. Stop fucking trying to bully 11 fucking people and the activists on the ground who have lost loved ones and focus on doing something, anything, wow, ow, ow, ow. and not fucking just like giving more money to the cops, not just, uh, you know, saying, oh, we're just going to train them this time. If anything you were saying is accurate, we would have seen a surge in African American turnout during the election when we saw a complete opposite. In fact, saw an increase in Trump support that's likely not completely disconnected from defund messaging to the black men in high crime areas being turned off by it. So, what you're basically stating here does not go against what I am saying. The issue is you're not communicating anything. If all you focus on is just shitting on the fucking left, which is politically irrelevant, instead of Hello, I, fighting I, I, back against the reactionary framing, then you're going to fucking lose to Donald Trump of all people. Jesus Christ. It's not like the Democrats ran on defund the fucking police, brother. There's like five people that won that are now saying defund the police what are you the na are you, are you telling me the now. national democratic party was running on defund the police is that what happened oh man it was just too unfeasible that's why they that's why they they uh that's why for some weird reason all of the uh the moderates they lost you're giving too much credit to americans to understand policy no i am not that's why i always say 84 percent of cops in 2016 said they were going to vote for Donald Trump. Reframe the conversation around that if you want. If you want to draw up partisan fucking lines, draw it on that. Just anything. Just do anything but what you are doing so far. We are, we, we basically have a group of steroided, hopped up fucking psychopathic Republicans that are completely unaccountable and are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want in regards uh, to harassing individuals that are literally paid by those very same communities, the taxes those same communities they harass pay for their fucking salaries, which they then take, okay, and take to another neighborhood, a suburb that's all white for the most part, a suburb that has a higher level of income, a suburb that is a fucking Republican suburb. We're taking money away from black communities and black people funding fucking a bunch of dudes that don't even live in that community and funding those fucking suburbs so that they can have uh, better schooling, so that those white suburbs can have better schooling, so those white suburbs have better access to uh, opportunities, so that they can take additional funds and, and get more guns for themselves. This is a mostly predominantly Republican group of people with zero accountability from the law that are popped up on fucking steroids, that have all the guns on the fucking planet, no legal system to reprimand them. 
and we just keep giving them more money and acting like this is, is something that is foundationally important. And why is the active framing not actually working and bringing about the transformative change in law enforcement? The message is not working. You need to be more clear. You can't fucking deal with activists this way. You can't. You, well, you like, weren't. what are you doing? Like, you, you work for the DNC. You should know this by now. You can't deal with grassroots mobilization. Republicans don't even have grassroots. Half of their shit Michael is Lear. AstroTurf. Either you set up your fucking counter AstroTurf uh, strategies and make it seem like that's what the fucking uh, people on the ground want, or shut the fuck up and say, hey, we hear you, we see you, this is what we're going to go with. Abolishment of police departments is not happening. Defund the police is not about abolishing it anyway. There will always be a need for some form of policing. You don't have to call them fucking police. You don't have to call them anything, really. But there's always going to be a need for law and order in any fucking societal form, any sort of social formation. There's always going to be a court system, no matter what. And there always has to be a, a, a group of people that enforce that court system and the rules and their laws. People who say, no, there isn't, are fucking 14-year-old delusional anarchity babies who they themselves have not fucking read enough anarchist theory to comprehend that even in their fucking mythological utopian worldview, there would still be some organization, okay? You can't throw a tickle party to ensure that people don't fuck one another over. Shut the fuck up. You don't have to call them cops. But even if you are democratically voting... On every single hierarchical structure, every single law is democratically voted on in a direct democracy, let's say, someone still needs to fucking enforce it. That is actually a way better fucking uh, framing from Noah. Noah is correct. This is, a, this is a fear that I have that I have expressed before. The funding of police under current neoliberal order would just lead to the accelerated privatization of just another public service rather than actually doing something to help. But it's a grassroots slogan, so I get that it do... Uh, get, that it, th get it, though. I do think it misses the mark. It doesn't miss the mark. It's just that you don't want to fucking describe what the mark is. If, if you believe in progress, and if you are a, a, a leftist, you have to recognize that we don't have the think tanks. We don't have the fucking uh, focus testing. What we have are actual people that have legitimate fucking grievances. So what can you do? You can stand in front of the tide and say, no, 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 it's not time for that right now. No, 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 what you're saying right now is, is actually hurting our cause. Or you can say, listen, I understand what you're trying to say. And while I personally think that maybe it's not the best messaging for all these fucking moderates, I'm gonna do my best to describe to them exactly what it is that you are saying. Because we all ultimately have the same fucking goals. When Donald Trump brings about a law and order message as a dog whistle for black people not wanting law and order because they don't want cops or whatever the fuck he's trying to say, that's psychotic. Because of course black people also want law and order. But the problem is, in underfunded communities, the presence of police creates lawlessness and disorder. Everybody wants law and order, unless you're a psychotic racist who literally thinks black people just want chaos and disorder, and lawlessness. Of course they want law and order, motherfucker. The whole point of defund the police is law and order. Bringing about accountability for the police force is law and order. Stop falling for the reactionary framing. So here's, here's what I had to say. Here was the, the meme, rather, okay? So after I saw Obama say like, oh, this is a terrible message, this is a terrible message, this is a terrible message. I said, in order to win neoliberals, you have to use their language. Try saying, instead of saying defund the police, try saying, we need to eliminate redundancies in the police force and better distribute newly freed capital into growth sectors like social work. You know, growth sectors that truly undermine uh, the presence of crime and, uh, and, and fight back against it. It's clear that increasing investments in police has diminishing returns. And neolibs were like fucking, yeah, that's actually a lot better of a message. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, why don't they use that? First of all, are you fucking dumb? How do you not recognize your own biases here? This, this messaging is not appealing to anyone outside of the... the uh, the actual bicoastal elite, like fucking DC wonks and shit that spend all their time like reading Vox.com articles and, and thinking that they're brilliant. The reason why Hassle. this is ironic because so many lefties like quote tweeted me and were like, Hassan is so fucking dumb. He doesn't realize that this is actually a good take. One, yeah, it's a good take because that's what fucking defund the police is. And also, you're literally failing to recognize exactly what I'm trying to say, which is... Hey, if you know what this is, then fucking describe it to people. Meet them with their with with the with the way that they understand it. 
and fucking describe it to them, okay? Just do that. That's one. Because it's demonstrably successful considering the fact that you literally just fucking said, whoa, this is good. That's one. And two, this is only successful in a very narrow framework, this kind of messaging. Again, if you're a young activist today and you believe really passionately in a slogan like defund the police, what is your advice to that activist also knowing that a lot of politicians won't go near that phrase? It, it's interesting. We take for granted, if you want people to buy your sneakers, that you're going to market it to your audience. If a musician drops a record, they're, they're going to try to reach certain audience. Yo, people are so crazy, dude. Like, how is this an argument? Like, the abolition of slavery wasn't fucking popular, okay? Especially for the slavers. There's no way to, like, market something like that something, is even though ultimately going to rock sad. the boat and destroy previous hierarchies, okay? Why is it that we're making it seem like it's a burgle? The entire point of corporate branding is to present an idea that is unattainable in the real world okay that's not a real thing that's why like woke bay as a marketing term is is a fake person that's not a real person not a single person on this planet is like truly fucking woke everyone has privileged blind spots everyone's complex individuals they they have unique opinions and they can be fucking bigoted from time to time right like you can't corporatize a, a human being or existence just like you can't fucking commoditize a goddamn social movement okay you can't do that you can't just be like oh well, you know if we if we were to turn it into just do it then you're you're effectively rendering that movement useless anyway this is part of the reason why like when uh walmart for example says like oh black lives matter and throws up the fucking black fist while uh across the nation they're like funding the shit out of uh uh, police unions then it's idiotic then it's nothing it's just like this it's the hey, black lives matter like everyone can fucking say it if you believe as as i do that we should be able to reform the criminal justice system so that it's not biased and treats everybody fairly i guess you can use a snappy slogan like defund the police but you know you've lost a big audience the minute you say it which makes it a lot less likely that you're actually going to get the changes you want done yeah, dude, because something as radical as as changing a historic trend that capital owners have fucking taken advantage of uh, hey. in the way that they have like built out these uh, police, uh, these uh, built out these police departments as a defense line for the interests of capital is is uh, going to be undermined quickly by, you know, saying uh, you're just finding the right slogan. It is so baby-like. The point I'm trying to make is like, this is baby-like, okay? It's magical thinking to assume that if you are to arrive at the best possible slogan, that people are all of a sudden going to change their minds and be like, wow. Percent. Wow. I've said this before, I never so thought this way before. Like, better. holy shit. No. For my views Just like with Black Lives Matter, people whole. didn't hear Black Lives Matter and go, wow, well, that makes a lot of sense. Holy fuck. Okay, they didn't they didn't think like, oh, well, I came to terms with, uh, you know, black liberation because I heard black lives matter. Like, no, that's not how this fucking works is because people literally fucking constantly made the arguments over and over again against the sea of misinformation, against the sea of reactionary framing that desperately tried to make BLM yes. into a terrorist group that wanted to fucking kill cops. I'd say let's reform the police department so that everybody's being treated fairly. What is the take here? Like, does Obama unironically think that, like, I don't know, black protesters all around the country had never even thought about this? Like, oh, let's reform the police so that people are being treated fairly. Like, is that truly the take here? Activists on the fucking ground were like, oh, fuck, why didn't we think about that, dude? What the fuck, dude? God, they're all like, oh, no, dude, fuck. We totally dropped the ball, brother. If only we had waited for Obama to fucking chime in while he's selling his book. The key is deciding, do you want to actually get something done or do you want to feel good among the people you already agree with? And if you want to get something done in a democracy, in a country as big and diverse as ours, then you, you've got to be able to meet people where they are. And Yeah, you know, like 
halfway to Jim Crow. You know what I mean? Like, like, come on, come on. Separate but equal. One side is saying separate but equal. The other side is saying, no, fuck that. Well, that, sound, that sounds kind of bad. The good messaging is separate but equal, isn't it? What? It seems like these reactionaries have a good argument. Separate but equal. I mean, it's equal after all. It's just separate. Why can't we, why can't we do better messaging? Like, it's just, wow. Come on, dude. Just, just compromise. You know, uh, one side wants uh, all the slaves to be counted. The other side wants uh, none of the slaves to be counted. Let's arrive at a compromise. Three-fifths. Oh, wait. Literally in all of those circumstances, we are just undermining the black people that are probably don't want to be slaves or black people that probably yeah, don't want to be fucking treated as second-class citizens. But hey, messaging, right? That's how you win those battles. Good shit. There has never been, Asshole. throughout time, there has never been a singular moment Throughout the history of the world, I would even say, were progress against those who own Thank the levers of power has ever, that, that undermines their position in society, the has ever been done. gained by making a crafty argument. This is liberal dog shit, okay? It has never happened. None of the moments that we talk about, like, with LGBT rights, for example, like, it didn't start because they made a good argument. Really? The, the fucking flame that sparked the, the gay rights movement? What do, you, what do you think Stonewall was? Just the debate club? You think that's what it was? They were just doing debate club? It, it was a riot, motherfucker. That's how this shit works. <laughs> like, it's crazy. No, they were just debating the cops. Yeah, can you at least agree that if the Jews in 1940s Germany were a little bit more tactful and polite, they would have had peaceful reform within the Nazi party? Yeah, oh no, for, for sure. For sure. Isn't he railing against the wording of the slogan, though, not the movement itself? Yeah, if you're a fucking simp, if you are a simp and you are still naive and you hear liberals like Obama and, and mainstream liberals constantly say, Whoa. come on, it's just the messaging. Like, I hear you. I see you. You know, you'll, you'll learn eventually. No, this is a way to deflect. Oh, no, John, it's I'm when you can't you make an argument. Dead against it because that James goes against your worldview so you deflect away WP from it where, hey, where you say oh well I, I want this to be good but I want this to be good but it's like oh come on so there's two ways to look at this argument okay you say people misunderstand what defund the police means why do they misunderstand what defund the police means well because there are millions of dollars being pumped by republicans to make defund the police out to be this scary nefarious thing that's false here's what it actually means that's what i do that's what i tell you all the time when i talk about defund the police right obama knows this he's able to do it why is he still fucking attacking the slogan when he himself knows what it actually means what the goals are ultimately why would you tackle your own activist and base, which you have no control over whatsoever? And because activism, Instead, especially grassroots activism, does not start until they realize because people have compromise. the intention and of the like by. fixing the Democratic Party or, or uh, driving voter turnout. Activism on the ground, real grassroots activism starts as a consequence of Democrats on their side also failing to acknowledge their responsibility. There would be no Black Lives Matter if Democrats were to do what they claim they care about. If they were to successfully fucking reform the police as they claimed they wanted to do since the fucking 60s, then we wouldn't be in this position when there would be no Black Lives Matter. Why the fuck would they be out in the streets then? You can't control those people and expect them to like listen to you and or even have your own uh, uh, goals in mind. They're not working for you.